When you think of noise, what comes to mind? Sure, noise comes in various shapes and forms. But a lesser known producer of noise is light. Yes, light can make noise. Specifically, small particles of light, photons. The random nature of these tiny particles makes them pretty difficult to measure and control. Although very weak, the noise becomes an obstacle for sensitive measurements. It brings uncertainty, which can be reduced by making the light brighter. But light that's too bright can damage the vulnerable samples we study. Oh no, so bright, I guess I'll die. But don't worry. Quantum opticians know how to prepare light whose noise is reduced even below this tiny level. So what's behind these mysterious technology? Well, there is nothing mysterious about it. It's just science. It's just quantum technologies. Maria Chekova and her group at the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Light in Erlangen learned how to trick light. In other words, to squeeze it. Twelve group members from eight different countries are working on generation and application of squeezed light, which is quantum light that is noiseless. But here's where light noise can be a real problem. Raman spectroscopy. A great technology to identify chemical substances and characterize various materials, including biological objects. Hey, I'm still here. But what's new here? To reach high precision, you need light with minimized noise. And this is where squeezed light comes to the rescue. Two projects in Chekhov's group aim to bring Raman spectroscopy to a whole new level. In the Sparkle project, which we coordinate uh, and which is joined by four other groups, we enhance Raman spectroscopy by using parametric amplification. In another one, Q-Raman, we build a source of pulsed squeezed light for a Raman microscope. And that's just one of many projects where quantum light saves the day. It's a technology with a big impact, but big impacts can also come from the smallest of things. Imagine quantum light produced in a very small object. And small means more compact and friendly to other technology, fast in operation and multifunctional. Since the object generating quantum light is thinner than the light wave itself, it can do a lot of things at once. Generate quantum light, filter it, diffract it, and make it interact with other things. Breakthroughs like these are why Maria and her group are devoted to fighting quantum noise. I, I don't think the noise is nice. <laughs> The noise can be nasty, actually. <laughs>